This is a six channel automatic winding test system which can test inductance, quality factor, DC resistance, impulse, AC DC high pot with, uh, with stand voltage and insulation resistance for any automobile coil, BLDC fans, DC motors, AC motor, induction motors any multi winding coils now i will show you how to program a test file for a automobile magneto coil which has three windings in a delta connection press setup when you press setup you will have list of parameters dc resistance inductance impulse winding test insulation resistance high pot you also have other parameters dc balance inductance balance now i will show you how to program for a dc resistance measurement press the relevant function button f1 for dc resistance Select the channel. One represents the first channel, two represents the second channel. Go for the standard value. If you know the value, punch the value, or you can simply press measure value where it can show the exact measuring value for the standard coil. If you are satisfied, select enter standard give the upper limit lower limit once these parameters are fed go to the second parameter inductance in inductance is the similar way we do that is channel 1 channel 2 inductance and Q frequency setting as 1 kilohertz test voltage 1 volt this is the standard value for this also you can do the same method where if you know the value you can punch the values using this keypad or when standard is connected you simply press measure you get the measured values of inductance and Q simply press enter STD STD stands for standard selected lower limit upper limit and if you scroll down you get q if you wanted to compare i mean measure q also then you have an option for selecting yes or no yes stand, on stands for measuring q off it doesn't it ignores q measurement now for the second winding we have selected channel 2 and channel 3 and third winding channel 3 and channel 1 as it is a delta winding now all the parameters for inductance have been fed now we will go to the third parameter that is impulse winding in impulse winding we select in the first channel to, to second channel what is the voltage that you want to test impulse after uh, what is the now what we do is go here there is a function button f2 first standard sample test i simply press this button suppose you wanted to change the sampling rate press the left button or right button to increase or decrease the sampling rate for this i'm putting as 25 now after feeding this i press start that is f4 button you get the waveform now you go for the next step for the second phase second phase is been fed now the third phase the now 
all the windings have been saved now go back by pressing F6 now you simply give the tolerance as 5% or 10% whatever you have area differential area after treating all this go back now we are going for insulation resistance for insulation suppose if you wanted to test only for one day winding you simply need to select one for channel one as the insulation resistance is measured between winding to body or winding to winding if it is winding to body you connect a return wire to the body and in channel minus you select nothing suppose you want to select second channel over here you press prog program and you want to change it to channel 2 you simply go to the channel 2 press ok sorry channel 2 on after this you need to see whether it is there is a tick mark over here ok now channel 2 is set what is the voltage you want to test uh, insulation resistance what what is the ramp up time suppose if you feed one second over here that means that it takes one second for reaching voltage from zero to the set voltage this is the whole time means after ramp up it will hold the voltage for the set voltage for one second and what is the limit now insulation resistance has been fed now we are going for high pot test high pot test over here we, have, we can select channel channel 1 or channel 2 or channel 3 by pressing this probe select whatever uh, channel you want then press ok what is the voltage set voltage frequency 50 or 60 ramp time for hv test high power tester you have rise time hold time and fall time rise time as i mentioned in insulation resistance it is a time taken from zero volt to set volt for the ramp time now hold time is it after go reaching the set voltage it will hold the same voltage for that time hold time fall is the inverse of river, uh, race time ramp time now these are the limits after all this there is one more called as sequence test sequence is even though you select the parameter and the parameter over oh, here it is unselected the equipment will not test it so you can select parameters i mean what all parameters you want to test ir is selected dc resistance is selected like this once all the parameters are set you can go for measure button now it is testing all the parameters that you have given like you can see inductance first to three are inductance for three phases inductance measured value q if value is within the limit it will to go for pass now over here you can see inductance balance this is between 1 2 and 2 3 between these two phases it checks in balance and if it is within the limit it gives pass then it goes oh yeah you can see the dc resistance measurement for the three phase that is ch1 and 2 that is channel 1 and channel 2 measured resistance if it is within limit you get okay like this three channels then there is a resistance imbalance is the same as inductance that is between first winding to second winding that is channel 1 2 and channel 2 2 3 then comes impulse surge channel 1 2 channel 2 3 and 3 and 1 if it is okay you get within the limit it gets pass 
then you have impulse imbalance is the same way as inductance and resistance o here is ir ir we have only checked within second channel o here you can see 2.0 comma o o is stands for return wire that is zero ground black wire between 2 and black it is ir is passed now hv ac second channel and body it is within limit and pass now you can also see the waveforms of it this is the waveform of the first phase that is 1 and 2 over here you can see channel 1 channel 2 you want to go for the second phase channel 2 channel 3 channel 3 channel 1 so you go back measure now this is a usually a pre programmed uh, test file that is why i have missed the balance uh, inductance imbalance uh, dc imbalance and impulse imbalance now i'll show you that dc imbalance Now I'm selecting F1 for DC imbalance. Over here, reference A, reference B. Reference A is the first phase, that is channel one, channel two. Reference B is the second phase, channel two and channel three. Usually, imbalance is between compared between two windings. That is why reference one one goes one goes for the first winding. Reference B goes to the second winding. Over here, you can punch the lower limit, upper limit. If the imbalance value is within the limit, it gives pass and fail. Now you go for inductance. It's the same way. Reference A stands for the first winding. Reference B stands for the second winding. Over here, I'm showing you first winding comes in channel one and two. Second winding comes in channel two and three. Higher limit, lower limit. now this is impulse imbalance is the same way over here first winding second winding what is the percentage difference for area and differential area so i'll just remove one wire and show you what will be the result i'm removing channel 3 Oh, here all the parameters that are linked to channel three have failed. See, inductance between three, two, and three, three and one is failed. Imbalance is obviously failed because three is not there. It's the same way for DC resistance, impulse also. You can see the waveform. One and two is there. Now two and three, you can see the waveform. Now three and one. as the channel is removed now okay. again okay, i'll test this after giving all connections right when you feel that all the parameters that you fed is correct and satisfied you can save this file in your system by pressing file button select a file where you want to select now presently i'm i want to save in file number 2 i go there save over here i give a file name file name i put some xyz as a file name i press number 9 over here you get the characters function 2 is the x function 3 is y function 4 is the z so this is the way how you give the text then after feeding all this you have to press enter button now 
the program is saved in xyz file you can simply load that file by pressing f1 as load relevant function button load yes go for testing Now it's...